Here are quick checks on your iPhone's cellular or mobile data not working. First, you should keep your iPhone updated to the latest iOS version. Go to the Settings app, scroll to General and Software Update. Download and install pending iOS update. If your iPhone is updated already, follow the next solutions. You can refresh your iPhone's connection with the carrier by turning it off and back on. To do this, open the Settings app and scroll to Cellular Data. Find Turn on this line toggle, turn it off and turn on again after 2 to 3 seconds. Alternatively, you can use Airplane Mode to refresh the network connection on your iPhone. Open the Control Center, tap the Airplane icon to turn it off, and turn it on after a few seconds. Check if the issue is resolved or not. If this problem occurs again and again, then the solution is to hard reboot your iPhone. Because internet software glitches can be fixed by hard reboot, this process will not erase anything. Quickly press and release the volume up button, then quickly press and release the volume down button, then press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo after the black screen. Once your phone is turned on, enter your iPhone lock screen passcode and check if the issue is fixed. If not, try resetting the network settings. Open the Settings app on the iPhone and scroll to General Option. Again, scroll to Last and tap on Reset and select Reset Network Settings. Enter your iPhone lock screen passcode. Your iPhone will reboot once and all network settings will be reset to default. Don't worry, this process will not erase your iPhone data or delete your eSIM setup. Connect with cellular data and check if the problem is fixed. But reset network settings will not reset VPN settings. Sometimes, the VPN network turns on automatically when you restart the iPhone or airplane mode. Delete VPN or remove VPN profile from iPhone settings. Go to the Settings app, scroll to General and again scroll to the VPN and Device Management option. Tap on VPN. Now, tap the I button next to VPN Profile and delete VPN completely from your iPhone. In addition, you must check your network outage in your region. You can search Google for a specific network outage or Verizon system status, and see the news and official page where all the maintenance downtime is available, if any. Here's Verizon Network's status page. Just open it and select Interrupted Service and the reason for the problem, such as slow speed or no internet. Now, enter your address or use your current location. Now, scroll and check now. As you can see, Verizon is aware of this problem and is working on a solution. You can see the estimated time to restore service with the date and time. Until then, you have to wait. If your cellular data is slow speed due to switching to 3G internet from LTE automatically, then I recommend that you check it. Open the Settings app on iPhone. Open Cellular. Under the Cellular Data options, select LTE under Voice and Data. Ensure that if you are traveling, then keep data roaming on. If this is set up correctly and checked, then I recommend checking your account. It might be that there is no data plan, or your mobile data limit is over. If a specific app is running slow or mobile data is not working, I recommend checking and removing the mobile data restriction for that app. Scroll down and see the list of apps under the show all for a full list of apps. Enable the toggle for all apps like this. Sometimes, like Snapchat, the data saver setting is enabled within the app, which restricts the app from using your mobile data. Please check and remove the restrictions, as you can see on my screen. Otherwise, delete the app and reinstall it to reset the app settings on your device. If a specific app has a bug, I recommend checking your internet speed with Google's Internet Speed Test Online from your iPhone browser. I am checking the speed of my mobile data on Safari. Finally, you can contact your carrier or Apple support to diagnose the issue of slow or no mobile data. A link is given in the video description to book an appointment.
You can also share your carrier name in the comment box, and we will help you fix the specific problem. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for new free tech guide video updates.